Okay, hello, welcome to this uh, show over here. Paint on Luminis is a Facebook page. Join that group. Uh, we have competitions regularly. This one was the ninth, and it was about metal. So if it was, um, you know, uh, your uh, non-metallic metals, your uh, silvers, your golds, your whatever, you can show it to us. And uh, we are directly now going to look at them and. One of them is going to be on the banner for us uh, for this uh, <clears throat> month until next competition is due. So it's just a friendly little showing everybody how good uh, you can paint and get feedback and stuff like that. And just, you know, fight the grey plastic. <laughs> it is uh, all about that. Get the uh, greys out of your uh, stash. I have a lot of grey uh, unpainted miniatures, you know. Get it painted. <clears throat> and just, you know, we can uh, learn from each other and just, um, uh, what you want to call it, engage each other with, uh, uh, you know, look, I actually did paint something today. Okay. Enough about me and this introduction. Welcome to Paint All The Minis. Challenge was heavy metal. Let's go. Okay, first up is Brendan McLellan with this orc in total metal plating it's uh you know stellar work i can see a lot of different colors on the metal and uh, i think it is a kind of a dry brush approach to this miniature uh, and the skin uh, is all, uh, on the face and the hands and the rest is metal so he is totally a heavy metal miniature for sure <laughs> all right next up is brent Hennenberry doing uh, this Tyranid and uh, you can see on the drainage thing or what you want to call it where he stands on the metal there is looking um, like a little gruesome effects with uh, I don't know what you want to call uh, the slime or what you want to call it it's really cool um, I, I do wish uh, it all was painted to, to the finish but um, it's really cool Next up is uh, Bruno Nunes and uh, whoa, there's a lot of metal work going on on this uh, Space Marine Super Champion. Um, I, I can't uh, pronounce all the names of uh, all these miniatures, so I'm going to just say thing like, things like thingy and so on. You know, I I'm totally sorry, but you know, uh, teach me in the comments below. Um, yeah, uh, but. All the metal work here with the, the the goals and everything, I really like it. Uh, really, really unusual to see him in red instead of uh, blue. I like it a lot. Next up is Chris Palmer with his Chaos Marine. Uh, and he has muted down the bra brass metal. Uh, it's really a subtle but really cool effect, I think. Uh, he has done so with the gun he's holding or... Um, what he's calling with the barrel and stuff. I really like it. Uh, it's a really cool effect. Uh, it's. I think it is a really good painted miniature. Next up is Eric Jimenez. Jimenez. Uh, uh, probably butchering your name. Sorry. Um, he has painted a uh, space marine in. I do believe it's a imperial fist or something. Uh, and he's really gone to work with. Uh, uh, bruising or what you want to call it scratching on the knees so it's just he this dude he is on his knees when he's uh, taking aim and uh, his armor is totally beaten up and really cool work um uh, really really interesting with the browns and then the silver in, inside the browns and i really like this effect um yeah uh whoa it, it's like if you are painting the whole Imperial army, uh, Imperial Fist army like this. Oh my god. <laughs> it's really nice work for one miniature, uh, for sure. Next up is uh, this guy from Håkon Haslan Skarsborg. And um, uh, it's super sharp lines, really cool. Um, I, I don't know if this is the lamp, studio lamp working for him, or if, if this is actually painted. Um, uh, you know shine effect but it's really working here uh, and a lot of you guys have put on a lot of uh, photos I, I choose to just take one photo 
uh, in this to show everybody. So everybody has the same, you know, uh, chance. So it's not too many pictures of of the same miniature. Uh, and, um, and and but it is really hard to choose one picture. So uh, maybe a bad call from me, but I really like this battle. Jamie McCandry, he has done a lot of um, uh, these uh, cars for uh, uh, Walking Dead miniatures and stuff like that, and I really, really like it. He has also a lot of different um, uh, pictures of cars and different cars with uh, a lot of effects on them, and uh, I, I, I choose that, this one. I choose this one. I like that this one the best but it was a hard choice uh really cool with dirt and grime on it uh I, I would like if i could say a little more scratching maybe a little more metal bare metal showing maybe uh but all around really cool uh, it's been here for a while with the upside down uh, graffiti on here and stuff like that all right next up it's john rolson He's painted up uh, this difficult name, Saproko Guard. You know, deaf guy from Sh Shakespeare. Sh and I uh, really like it. It's really cool with the metal here. He has uh, painted the golds and uh, silvers. And uh, it's a um, really, really nice and clean work. Uh, I would sh like to see more weathering on them. but But it is really nice. I like it. Not bad. Jordan Hackman. Here we have, uh, um, uh, I don't know what this miniature is, but it's re really looking cool. And it's a robot, true and true, with um, uh, what you call this Brynje mesh metal. Uh, and it's just a lot of things to look at. Uh, and I don't know if it's actually a robot because he has boobies, but who knows <laughs> but uh, um, yeah it's I like the colors they work together it's like totally sci-fi for sure and this flamer I believe it is uh, it's cool cool painted metal with a lot of different colors on especially the weapon I like it is probably dry brushed if I I'm not sure but it looks maybe dry brushed on nice nevertheless Okay, next up is from Josh Burst ba Basley. Josh Basley. Hey, he's doing this deaf uh, guard. He's so happy, this guy. He has got his paint on, he's ready to go to town and kick some butt. Yeah, it's really cool. I really like, uh, like this miniature. It's a really cool, clean, painted miniature. Um, same as before, I'd really like to see uh, uh, maybe a little more uh, weathering, you know, but but it's clean and good paint job. Uh, uh, no, no questions there. All right, next up is from Josh Sk oh, there. Skaub, 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 uh, yeah, sorry for butchering, lovely. Uh, painted miniatures with cool uh, uh, verdigris on on um, the banners uh, or the music thingy and uh, yeah it's really cool it's really characterful painted uh, with a lot of bright colors it makes me really happy to look at um, I, I really uh, you know have the background been in white or black or something and just the miniatures it would be even better, but lovely work, nonetheless. All right, next up is Joshua Wayne Horn, and he has painted uh, two different kind of miniatures. So I'm going to do a fast one. I'd said I'd do just take one pictures, but uh, yeah, sorry, <laughs> breaking my own rules here. Uh, but he has some um, uh, weathering here, and uh, not so much on this space marine. Uh, it's a, uh, it's a good job, uh, yeah. What can I say? Uh, white is super difficult to get right, and it's, 
in the ballpark yeah it's uh, clean work next up is from Landy Rodriguez hopefully I say that name correctly uh, because you know he is one of the bosses of paint all the minis <laughs> uh, but you see here a lovely little girl getting her uh, is probably not that lovely if she's running straight to for you with the, the sword racing like that you're in big trouble but um I really like the work here <clears throat> and uh, the metals I, I actually wanted to f see more dimensions on on the metal here but uh, nevertheless not bad <clears throat> Next up is also from Landy Rodriguez and uh, damn dude uh, yeah uh, just to here you have actually put some effort in your metals dude you can do better you know I, I'm just saying it is more highlights here and there and more um, uh, shading going on and stuff like that really nice uh, he had a lot of photos of this guy and uh, yeah same as before I really want to see a clean background you know black or white or blue whatever or, or yeah not, don't, not this mess but it's my problem not yours but because you have painted this really nice miniature and I don't want to look at this orangey thing in the background uh, sorry just say okay next up is Lee Leal Alfred um, he had a lot of uh, uh, photos of this um, uh, of this um, tank uh, it, what is it rhino I don't know I, I'm, I'm, I, I, I can't this I, I can't know I can't know anything about everything uh, or something like that <laughs> but clean really clean work and he has um, some weathering hair I believe and yeah it's really clean I really like it and uh, we have mark one or RD um, and here you have a lot of different color combinations going on uh, really nice lines here it's super clean uh, uh, in the you know, uh, what to call it um, uh, the stomach of the beast <laughs> And the checkered part in here is really nice. The metal, the metal is nice too. Uh, I don't know if it is the lamp or if it is painted, but you have, uh, if it is painted on, holy shit, uh, it's really superb work. Uh, and I'm not going to say some uh, something about the background. <clears throat> Let's go with Patrick O'Deal. Here we have a dreadnought. I can I, I I know this one it's a dreadnought and he's a, a really interesting choice here he has taken gold instead of the regular iron colors and uh, with this color combination of this turkeys um, thingy it's I, I think it's working really good really cool yeah Next up is Rod McDonald, and sorry, I have to cough. <coughs> <coughs> ah, feels much better. So, all right, Rod McDonald, he has painted a Stormcast Eternal in gold and in blues, and you know, it is totally working. Is uh, lacking uh, the shield but uh, you know uh, it has a lot of different uh, colors on the gold from reddish to more bluish greenish on, on the feet <coughs> sorry and uh, the hammer uh, that is almost black blue um, yeah it's a lot of different uh, effects here I'm, I'm not sure it is a finished painted miniature uh, with um, some stuff here, but <coughs> like the, the helmet, it should be uh, another color than uh, gold, maybe. But you know, it's a solid start of the miniature. Next up, 
Samuel Lechance doing some super awesome, super awesome painted Shade Spear Stormcast Eternals. Uh, yeah, what to say? Just great color combinations with the pinks down below, the blackish armor, and uh, yeah, it's looking like um, it's so good. And the background is not taking anything out of the painted miniatures. Um, yeah, uh, it's super nice, even the face. But I was to talk about uh, metals, so it's good job. And last, Scott Jennings painting this robot thingy. Uh, it's uh, I, it's fun. I I love it. I, I just really love it. It's really cool. Uh, yeah. What to say? It's uh, this uh, blacked chrome effect. It's it's cool. I really like it. I, I really want want to know what kind of uh, paint was used for this. It's really nice. Yeah, that is all. Twenty one. It's now the big big finale. How can we choose from all these great uh, painted metal miniatures? So who is the winner? So who is the winner? Let's find out who is the winner of all these painted miniatures. Uh, the criteria is something painted metal. And the one I like the most is Mark Van Arde. Sorry for butchering your name. I like it. A super cool painted miniature. Oh my god. All this work put into it. Uh, yeah. I love it. It's love. But wait, you want in on this? All right, you can. But wait, hold up. You want to be a part of this? Okay, you can. Facebook page, paint all the minis, link below. Uh, next up. 18th of December through to the next year, 17th of January. It is a rank and file infantry or mounted miniature. Uh, you know, uh, just uh, you can be on a motorbike, horse, camel, jeep, I don't know. Uh, it has to be some kind of infantry. Rank and file miniature, paint it up, post it on, on, on the, you know, challenge thing and you can be the banner holder for a whole month and uh, yeah it's awesome it's something to do please join the fun paint all the minis it is also a podcast apparently maybe have a listen to that a lot of cool people in it all right anyways bye now <laughs>